the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. I'm Peter Drury, and this is Jim Beglin. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium, and I've been hit by it too. for this game. Got things on the way. Tomovic with the ball through. Bumvila. Looks to slip it through. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Forward it goes. Just about here, the collective sigh there. They know they got away with one. Matias Fernandez tries a through ball. Can he find a finish now? Carries far too far and out of play. Matias Fernandez tries a long pass towards the front. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. And Vila puts it back. Still, he just read it. This game is in need of some excitement. It needs help, and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. Steered out wide. A glorious footwork. Meets it first time. Goal, Fiorentina! That, Jim Beglin. Look, you can only exploit the space if the pass is good enough, and in that instance, it was instinctive and quick, and it did the damage. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, that's put him in the driving seat, but there's a lot of football left in this one yet, believe me. So, they got the only goal to make it 1-0. So what now? The story. Tomovic. Valero. Fiorentina are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. I'm getting close now. Now the pass. Hefty challenge, but fair enough. Tomovic. 
Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Looks like a good ball through. And we've reached half-time. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first-half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Fiorentina leading 1-0 at the break. So off we go once more. Fiorentina carry a one-goal lead into the second half. A story knocks it towards the front. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Tries to pick out a teammate. Spoon forward. Fiorentina just about have their noses in front. It is the slenderest of leads. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Fiorentina haven't made a substitution yet. Matias Fernandez passes it through. Matias Fernandez! Oh, the ball's come loose. It's gone a long way up and away. Looks like a good ball through. And back out it comes. Offside, I think. Yes, it is. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. It's a pity he slightly mistimed his run. Maybe he wasn't expecting the ball to come his way as, as fast as it did. Fires from distance. Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. Acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Look, if he wants that ball to make it, then he has to pass it with a bit more zip. I think he knew as soon as it left his boot, it was going to be cut out. Just lacked a little more power. Hit into the middle. And out to safety. Well, maybe they're settling for what they have because they're not going to score from there. Fine defending there. Who's going to make this theirs? Fiorentina just have to run down the clock. It really is now or never. They need a goal, however it comes. It's one! And that is that. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. Look, it's a very fine win, but for me, the defence has been terrific in holding on to that lead. And that's it for tonight's match. So it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.